friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. It's Friday, so it's another way in day. I'm gonna to talk to you guys about my week. We'll set some goals for next week. We'll deep dive into the WW workshop topic. And of course, I'll share this week's weigh in results for you. This is week two weigh in of 2021. So I'm excited to share how things went with you. So if you're excited for today's video, please give it a big, huge thumbs up. It really helps me out and kind of lets me know to continue doing these Friday weigh-in videos. And if you're not yet subscribed, of course, I'd absolutely love to have you join my community. Hit the little subscribe button and the bell next to it, and you'll be notified whenever new videos are uploaded. Check out the description box down below for my custom 2021 calendar. I'm loving it, you guys are loving it. It's such a great tool moving into the new year and it's not too late to get it. I'm shipping same day, so you'll have it with just in a couple of days. You'll be geared up and ready to have a successful 2021. Also in the description box, you'll find my nutrition coaching where I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions in both 30 and 60 minute sessions as well as personalized macro and calorie calculation. Really important to know where you should fall every day, calories and macros, so I'd love to figure that out for you and again, get you off to a fantastic start in the new year. You'll also find links and discount codes to my favorite things as well as my Facebook group, another community that would be honored to have you, so head on over and join us. So we have a way in to do, a workshop topic to discuss, and let me tell you all about my week because it was an interesting one. talk about my week you guys it was rough it was really really rough I completely blew it the first few days of the week I don't know what got into me but I really was kind of in that I don't care mode I've been so incredibly busy that tracking my food and eating healthy just kind of got set on the back burner, which is not the way that it should be. It should be always in the forefront and important to me and something that I'm really focused and dedicated to. It just for some reason was just a struggle the first part of the week. About midweek, I snapped out of it and got right back into tracking and making sure that I was eating in a calorie deficit and staying relatively within my smart points and just making sure that I was making good food choices. I nailed my protein goal the second half of the week and stayed within my calories. So I was hoping when I stepped on the scale that that would make up for the horrible first part of the week that I had. I think we all go through ups and downs. I know it's a new year and we should be super motivated to lose weight, but life happens, busyness happens, and quarantine happens, and we still kind of feel a little down in the dumps when it comes to eating right and tracking. And that's kind of how I felt the first part of the week. I am in no way, shape, or form perfect. I make mistakes. I don't follow the program to tea all the time. So I wanted to be honest and let you guys know that the first part of the week, not good. And in fact, when I stepped on the scale, I think it was Tuesday, I was actually up like over three pounds. So I stressed out a little bit and that kind of snapped me back into things. And then that's when I said, that's it. You're back on track. You're going to track. You're going to do it. You're going to try to make up those three pounds. But before we jump into the weight loss results for this week, as well as next week's goals, let's talk about the workshop topic. So we ended the setting boundaries series and we started a new series at the WW workshops. And that series is called is your home base helping or hindering you if your kitchen or your dining room or wherever you spend a large majority of your time eating and preparing your meals if that's hindering you in your weight loss it's time to do some major remodeling if there's cupcakes on the counter chips in the pantry unhealthy foods at eyesight in the fridge it's time to do some revamping. When we're choosing what to eat, a lot of that is based on what we visually see. So here's a little tip for you. Instead of leaving chips or unhealthy snacks on the counter, put something out on the counter that's healthier. That's maybe lower calorie, maybe lower smart point, things like popcorn or healthier snacks. That way when you're visually looking for something to eat or snack on, what's in front of you is a healthier option. Also make it easier on your future self. Set yourself up for success. You guys hear me say all the time on my channel, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So instead of going to bed without setting yourself up for success in the morning, maybe putting 
putting together what you're going to have for breakfast and setting it out on the counter or maybe even putting the pan and the cooking utensil on the stove, set yourself up for success the night before. Get your kitchen ready for the morning. You can even go as far as making your breakfast in advance. How about putting together some overnight oats and throwing them in the fridge right in front of you so when you open the fridge the next morning, you're reminded that breakfast is ready, whether that's on the go or sitting down at home, overnight oats are ready to go. And the next tip is disrupt the default. And what this means is basically make it harder on yourself to choose the unhealthier option. So for example, instead of setting a pan of brownies out on the counter, how about cutting them up, wrapping them individually and freezing them individually. That way you're mindfully selecting one brownie out of your freezer and you actually have to unthaw it before you can eat it rather than mindlessly scooping and picking at the pan of brownies on your kitchen counter. And the last hack is make designated zones. So instead of snacking while you're cooking, because we tend to take little bites and tastes, we obviously want to try what we're preparing. How about setting yourself a designated eating zone? That's the kitchen table. No snacking, no bites, no licks, no tastes, no eating at all unless you're sitting at your kitchen table. That way you've made designated zones where it's okay to consume your food. That will prevent you from mindlessly snacking and again, taking those little bites, licks, and tastes. Honestly, the easier the choice is, the more likely we're to make it. We always as human beings will take the path of least resistance. So set yourself up in your home when it comes to making healthier choices easy, much easier than the unhealthy choices. I think these tips are great and I'm really glad that we're starting this hitting the reset type of series with WW because even though it's the first of the year, a lot of people haven't actually hit the reset button. They haven't started their healthy lifestyle journey in 2021. So now it's time and I'm glad that WW is putting out this series. So now let's talk about my weigh-in. So like I mentioned, early in the week, Tuesday, I weighed myself and I was up a little over three pounds, 3.2 to be exact. And that's what snap me back into reality. And I want to touch a little bit on the scale. Some people can be addicted to the scale and the scale can make their entire day good, bad, or indifferent. For me, the scale is something that snaps me back into reality. It's not something that if I step on and I see a loss, I'm like, hallelujah, I can eat whatever I want. That doesn't actually happen for me. But when I step on the scale and I see a gain, that's what snaps me back into reality. So I think the decision I made to get on the scale on Tuesday was a good decision. I was feeling a little bit fluffy and so I hopped on the scale and sure enough up over three pounds So by getting back on track on Wednesday that gave me a couple of days Plus this morning to get back on track and get rid of any extra water weight or bloat that came along with eating Not so good Sunday Monday and Tuesday So my final way and when I stepped on today is I'm actually down point Two. Now it's not a lot, but let's be honest, I lost basically 3.4 pounds, so I'll take it. The fact that I'm actually down weight is a huge win for me, so I'm extra motivated to actually really do well this next week. I have a high calorie, high point day scheduled for Saturday as we're going to a friend's for dinner, but other than that, I have it mapped out for the next week to stay within my calories and where I need to be point wise to see a bigger loss on the scale, but I'm relieved in a sense that I was still able to lose weight, so it's kind of proof that you can make some mistakes. It doesn't completely derail your whole week. Just get back on track. Don't beat yourself up get back on track and eventually that weight will come off. So now I wanna hear from you guys. Let me know down in the comments how your week was. How are you doing starting out the new year? Do you feel like you're really motivated and doing well or are you still struggling a little bit? Leave that down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you and of course help you in any way that I can. And if you are new to my channel or you're not yet subscribed, take a moment and subscribe. We'd absolutely love to have you. This is a really wonderful supportive community. And again, we'd love to have you be part of it. Don't forget to give this video a big, huge thumbs up. And of course, check out the description box down below for that 2021 calendar. Definitely pick that up. My nutrition coaching, personalized macros and calories, one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, links and discount codes to my favorite things. And lastly, my Facebook group, another community for you to join for support. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Friday. I'll see you guys all in tomorrow's grocery haul.